Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing this evening? Uh, today is Vlogmas 5, I do believe. Kind of lost track of time today. <laughs> it's late and I'm tired. I've had a long day, but anyway, it's uh, day 5 of my showing you my ornaments that I'm making. I've got my others on my tree over there. I still need to move it a little closer. I kind of forgot to do that, but it's getting full. <laughs> And the one that I made this time is, a, it's not a little ornament, it's a big one. It's actually, wouldn't, it wouldn't, well, I guess you could say it was an ornament. You can hang it on the tree as an ornament, but it was, it's considered a, um, a gift card holder. But whenever I seen it, I thought, yeah, I think I want to try to do it a little different. And I was inspired by something that I got the other day that wanted me to change it to the look that I gave it. So anyway... Here it is. <laughs> I have a uh, fascination with these old red vintage trucks. I love them. And I have uh, some in my house that uh, I decorate with. I have another tree that sits over here that uh, I have some hanging in it. And then I have some just around the house. But um, I just love this old truck. I just, you know, just... I don't know it just feels they just feel homey whenever you see them it just I, I love them but anyway this is a free pattern by Maria's blue crayon and it's called uh, red truck gift card or yeah gift card holder and what inspired me to to make it look like this the other day whenever I went to the Dollar General I found something and I was so excited because I have a couple more, but I didn't have a Christmas one. And then I found this. <laughs> the old vintage truck. And it's a salt and pepper shaker. And it was only $2. I couldn't believe it. I was like, whoa. And it was the only one they had, so I guess it was meant to be. But that's what it inspired me to want to take one that she has and to kind of, I modified it somewhat I uh let me put down my salt and pepper shaker before I break it <laughs> what I did was I added some fender wells I wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit so I did that I gave it some headlights I did some French knots and gave it headlights and then I whip stitched bumper on it I wished I could have done a little bit here but I didn't because it just to me, I couldn't get it to look right and then I took the tree, instead of just having one tree, because that's all she had was just one, I doubled it and then just crocheted them together. And then I added the star, and then I whip-stitched the ornaments on it, which the tree, this tree, I think it's just red berries, but I went ahead and just put some Christmas-type ornaments on it, because I thought it would be cute like that way. And then I added the star on the top. And on the tires, hers just has a single tire. But I doubled them because I didn't want to see the white on the back side. But anyway, really cute. And it's a, it's an easy pattern, what she has. And it's fast. It's a quick one. And it's free on her blog. And like I said, it's kind of big to hang on the tree. <laughs> so it'll probably sit underneath it. But I can move it over to my other tree whenever I'm, I'm done. But anyway, the other thing I want to show you, I'll put the link down below in the description box if you want to uh, see about making you one. The other uh, few things I want to show you real quick are some vintage um, Christmas ornaments that I ran across at my antique store that I like going to. I don't know a whole lot about these, except I do know that they were from Hallmark, the three of them were. And I believe it was back in the 70s is when they came out. But, uh, one of them I can tell is an elf. Let me show you those three and then I'll show you the other one. But anyway, uh, I'll just have to do it one at a time. Here's a little girl and they're made out of yarn. And I think her face is like a little wooden thing. But isn't she cute? <laughs> I don't know who she is, but there's a series. And then there's this one. This one is an elf. Isn't he cute? These are all made of yarn. And then the other one, 
try to get her to turn around here. <laughs> is this one is uh, the Soldier Boy? No, I dropped him. Soldier Boy. <laughs> so cute. But I found these at my the antique store that I like going to, and I think I paid, uh, I think six dollars for them, two dollars a piece. But I thought they were cute, and I had to have them, of course, because they were made of yarn. <laughs> And they're back, I guess, from the 70s, from what I can tell, or from what I read. And like I said, they're a Hallmark type. Now, the other one, I don't know if it's actually a Christmas ornament. I took it that it was. But I like clowns. And uh, I couldn't pass this one up because it was made with yarn, too. <laughs> and I don't know how old he is, but he looks pretty old. <laughs> And I don't know where he's from originally. Could be Hallmark. I don't know. But I took it that it was a Christmas ornament because of the red and the green. He's got a little hanger. So I thought he was cute. And uh, so I put him on my tree with all my vintage stuff. I got another tree sitting over there. But anyhow, that's what I got to show you today. I, I uh, Like I said, I've been super busy today. So I'm, I'm tired. And uh, I've been cooking some uh, stuff I shouldn't be cooking, which is uh, cookies, <laughs> and I think I ate too many, so I think I'm having a, a sugar crash, but anyway, I'm going to hop off of here, and tomorrow I'm going to get busy and work on, what is it, uh, ornament number six, or uh, vlogmas day six, but anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will be chatting at you real soon. <laughs>